iPhones have always some really cool hidden features and hacks that will make your life even better. And you can take advantage of those and of course do way more with your iPhone. And that's what I want to show you guys on this video. I will show you guys 10 game changing iPhone hacks that you must use on your device. First of all is this one right here. Head on to Google and just search for blank character. You will find something like this. Just tap on the first one right there and make sure you go ahead and copy this one right here. Now what you can do with this is create folders without names on the home screen of your device. So there I have a folder and if I go here and I try to rename this folder, you can see I can remove of course the name and I can maybe just add a space there but once I tap done it will bring back the name. Now the way to do this is just paste that blank character you just copied there from Google. Let's just try that again. Paste right here, tap on done and there we go. We have a folder there without a name at all and it looks much much cleaner. So in this video we're going to show this and 9 other game changing iPhone hacks that every iPhone user must know in 2023. Moving on to the photos app and here I have something really cool. You know that on iOS when you type something you can shake your device to undo. Well that actually works pretty much everywhere on iOS. Now I'm taking an example here with the photos app but it will work pretty much everywhere. Now what I can do here is maybe go ahead and try to edit a photo. I can edit this photo here and just tap done right there and once I'm done with this I maybe just want to revert it. I don't have to go back to the editing section there. All I have to do is just shake the device. You can see it says undo edit and I can undo that straight from there. Or maybe I can go ahead and duplicate these photos right here. You can see tap on duplicate right there. There we have the duplicates. All I have to do again just shake the device and I can go ahead and undo that as easy as this. Now the iPhone has a few hidden apps that probably a lot of users don't know about and this is one of them. It's called Code Scanner. Go to your spotlight search and just search for Code Scanner and you will see the app right there. It will show the icon. You can go ahead and tap on it to open the app. And there we go. There we have the Code Scanner. It will basically allow you to scan different codes from maybe different products or websites or whatever that is like your codes. And you will also have here a button to turn on and off the flashlight. Now let's just try and see if we can add that to the home screen from here. So it should be pretty easy so I'll just drag it like this but it actually doesn't add to the home screen so it's really interesting here. It won't stay on the home screen but again you can just go ahead and open it here from the spotlight search. Now this right here is pretty cool. Anytime you have a video but you don't actually need the video you need just the audio from that video or you just want to separate that you can actually do that easily on iOS. But you will have to first install a shortcut which of course I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. So just 3D touch on the video and then tap the share button right here and all you have to do is tap on separate audio and it will start running right here. Just give it a couple of seconds until it's okay. It's basically ready to go. It will show you right here basically your files app. You can choose a destination tap on open and just like that in a couple of seconds you will have now that just saved as an audio file. One really big mistake that I see a lot of iPhone users do is that when they want to send a picture to someone on an iMessage or maybe just share a picture on their socials but they want to cover a certain part of that picture to hide something. Basically what most people will do is tap the edit button right there tap of course on the markup tool and then just try to basically cover it like this. If you just edited this a bit you will be able to actually see what's underneath that. Now the right way to actually cover something on a photo on iOS is by using the plus button here and then tap on that little square. Just go ahead and set it as you need it just like this and then tap here on that button and tap that filled square, square right there and tap on the dumb button and now you're good to go just looks even better and of course no one will be, will be able to actually cover that just remove that cover and see what's underneath that markup. Now when it comes to editing photos or marking up something on photos if you're on iMessage and you're trying to send a photo to someone you don't actually need to move to the photos app to do like some editing or just mark up a photo. All you have to do here if you add a photo to send to someone is just tap right there on the preview of the photo. 
tab there and it will open like this. And in this case, it will allow you to edit the photo. So you will have the full editing tools, the same that you get on the Photos app. And you will also have a markup button right here, which allows to easily mark up the photos any way you like, straight here from the iMessage app. Tap on the Save button, tap on Done, and there you have the marked up photo. You can go ahead and send it right away from here. Now here's a really cool hack that I really like and use a lot on the lock screens on iOS 16. So when you go to customize one of your lock screens, of course you will have a clock there at the top and you will have a wallpaper. So with the clocks on iOS 16, you will be able to change the different colors here. But what I suggest you do if you just want to have a really nice looking lock screen, go ahead and tap here, that basically button that allows you to pick any color you want. And then tap on the color picker right here. And this will actually allow you to just pick a color from that wallpaper. That way your clock will look much, much better. And of course it will blend in way better with the wallpaper that you have currently on your device and it makes the lock screen look even better. Now this right here is pretty useful. On the camera app you probably know that you can take pictures simply actually videos simply by tapping and holding the photo shooter right here on the photo mode without having to actually go to the video mode at all. But what you can also do when you tap and hold here to take a video, you can see it's already taking the video. I can swipe up the finger like this to zoom in and I can even zoom out here at 0.5, just like that, move the finger up or down to zoom in and out on videos while shooting on the photo mode. Now here's a feature that I really like. When you go to live photos, you take live photos on your iPhone, you can see these are all live photos. If you have a few, two or more, three or 10 photos, live photos, you have taken one after another, what you can do is you can go ahead and tap the select button, select all those photos that you have taken, basically one after another, and then tap the share button right there, and you will be able to actually turn these into a video. Actually go ahead and tap the three dots, now the share button, and go ahead and tap here, save as video, and now you will have all the three photos combined into one single video. On the mail app on iOS 16, what you can do is reveal some very useful hidden folders. Tap the edit button right there, and you will find here, remind me, follow up, and send later. These are folders that you can enable here simply by tapping on them, and you will then get them right here on the main page. So if you have emails that you have saved, send later, they will show up right here. Of course, your follow-ups right there, which is really, really useful. So that's basically for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.